Faku, thank you again for coming, for talking with us and for making the time to, to, to give us some of your thoughts and, and, and insights and uh, welcome to this interview. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, first, I want to start by asking you like some simple questions about your life, about everything that's going on in your, like, let's say, personal life. Uh, first of all, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very good here. Uh, this is a great city, you know. Uh, I usually live like a s normal and simple life here. Uh, I just wake up and take my daughter to the school uh, and come here to the practice and spend time with my family in, in my home. Yeah. How crazy does it get? Because, uh, I mean, you played for big teams. You played in the NBA, in Europe. You played in, of course, your home, ha home country. But does it get maybe a bit too crazy sometimes with the fans and with all the love? Like, if life, love can be crazy. Is it maybe a bit too hard to handle sometimes with everybody, I think, approaching you and always wanting a photo and uh, similar things? No, I'm, I like it. I like it. I, I think they show me a lot of love, you know, and ov obviously, like, take me the, the photo with them. It's a way to show them back that, that, that kind of love. But I think the, the, the other way to show them love is, like, putting my life in every game. And I think that they, they, they like that. I just try to do my best every game and every time I have a chance to meet every fans, I just try to do it because they support us every game, every season. So this, that, that's amazing. That makes the, the club very huge. Yeah, I saw you after a lot of games, you spent like 10 or 15 or 20 <laughs> minutes just in front of the cafe, in front of Pioneer, just taking pictures and everybody. And, yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, I, I like when the, my hero or my 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 best my favorite player is is like close to the people you know i i, I love to see that in a professional sport or basketball player yeah. so i just try to to do that like be close to the people close to the fans they support they come here they pay the ticket and come and support us so we at least we have to do uh, take a picture with them or just talk with them yeah and who was your favorite player growing up uh, I don't know, you're not going to know him. It, Try me. Marcelo Milanesio. No, you know. No, I don't, he's, just I don't play, know. he's just playing in the, in the Argentinian league. Yeah, but somebody will know him. Some of the for sure, viewers for sure, will know him. For yeah. sure. Uh, he played in the, na in, the, in the national team in the 90s and he was a point guard. And I just love to how he played, make everyone better. Uh, I go to the gym and watch him play a lot of times and, and I had the opportunity to practice with him, with him uh, and I just love the, the way he play. Yeah. Uh, let's get to this season. Let's talk about that first. Uh, obviously it's not over yet, but uh, the Euroleague part is over and you won one trophy already. How would you summarize the entire season up to this moment uh, and uh, everything that's happened uh, since you, you came here? I mean, it's been it's been good. Uh, our first goal was to try to play the playoff games. Uh, Euroleague is is really hard, and you have tough game. Everyone can beat you, or you can. As a team, we can beat everyone too. We prove that. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, we we did a, a great regular season. We we were close. Uh, we lost some tough games against Berlin, against uh, Bayern in Bayern, some really, really tough games. But also we won really good games against uh, Olympiacos, both games. We were close against Barcelona. Here we play great basketball. Both games against Barcelona, we, we play really good basketball. Uh, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, you got to take it and try to improve as a, as a team during the season. Uh, the, the team start with a like with a, no, a new roster. In the middle happened some some stuff like new coach Luca came, I came. The suspension of the suspension, registration. Yeah. yeah. So that changed a little bit the thing. I gotta be time to get used to this change, you know. But I think we we are playing now and we played. Uh, really good basketball and we improve as a team every game we, 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 we went through. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it was three months since uh, you came and uh, to your first game in your league. To I came in middle of December. And maybe? it was first of, uh, first of yeah. March. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you played first game, second of March. 
if you had one month more, but let's not make it all three months, but just one month more with the team practicing for every game, playing, getting, you know, together more and just, do you think, I don't know, I, I don't want to say top eight would be the, the, the reality of the situation, but the, the final four or something like that. I know it's, it, it's not an easy question, like, because nobody knows yeah. and you cannot, can't ever know, but I mean, you, you answered the question, <laughs> but I, 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 I want to say yes, yeah. because, and also it's not about one player. Uh, this is a team sport and for two new players like me or Luca, a new coach, it's like I take time to get used to, need like a new adaptation, you know. But I want to say yes, because we believe we can, we can be in the, in, in the, in the, in the top eight. Uh, at least. At least. Uh, after that, everything can happen, you know, but I mean, we, we proved during the season we compete against any team, the best team in Euro, in the Euro League. So uh, my heart says yes, but I mean, we can know, we really can know. We, we, we are not going to know it. So the only thing we can do right now is put our energy in, keep doing this, you know, win games, improving the, every practice. So, I think we, we have to put our energy over there. Yeah. Just one more thing I want to touch upon uh, during that suspension. There was talk about you leaving back then and you even had to, uh, you put out a tweet saying, yeah, I'm staying. Uh, what was going on back then? Were other cl clubs trying to like poach you or something like that? Or I was didn't it... hear nothing. Or it was just like a, yeah, it was a rumor. to stop the speculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, there, there was a lot of rumor about in Twitter. You know, yeah, in, yeah. in social There's media, always, you know, like yeah. always, yeah. like always. One day I'm in one team, one <laughs> other day I'm in another team. But it's just rumors, you know. Uh, I knew I came here to stay, you know, the, the, during the season. Uh, I'm not going to stay I don't, the next month. I'm not playing, so at the next month I'm going to leave. I, uh, from the first time here, I like make friends with my teammates. I, it's Lucas, he was here. So it didn't make sense to me leaving in back in the, in the time. So. Uh, I put the tweet it just the tweet just for just to calm stop, the yeah, noise yeah, yeah. a little bit, uh, but but it, I never had a, you know, even one offer for living. I mean, I didn't open the windows to listen those offers, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So I I make a decision coming here and end the season as the best I we can do. So I commit that that uh, choice. And speaking about Twitter and uh, social media and rumors and everything that's going on, uh, what do you think about all the messages? And especially, I want to ask you because I don't know if it's photoshopped, <laughs> but did your wife receive a message uh, saying that uh, President Fucic will uh, uh, get your daughter into the best Spanish <laughs> schools and that the Chovic is working on bringing? Like, not from him. Not from him. It's no, 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 from somebody, some, some random fans, fan, yeah, yeah. And that uh, Zvezda is working on bringing Gabriel Deck because <laughs> his wife and your wife can hang out. That's true. Did that's you see that? Yeah. Yesterday, one of my teammates they sent me that, that, that picture, that screenshot, and I asked my wife, is this true? I said, Let me see. And she said, yeah, it's true. And so that was funny. That was funny. That's the way to, they show me love, you know, like we, we just talk. Uh, so it's it's funny. It's it's really funny to me. Yeah, have you ever gotten? I mean, I don't know. You, you don't want to, you know, talk bad about, uh, about other fans. But have you gotten this much love and energy from any fan base? Have you seen anything like this? Uh, what, what, what's going on in Serbia? Uh, I don't think so. I I don't remember in my career. Like I don't know uh, coming here and. The fans, you know, uh, the, the presentation of the Italy, they start jumping, that's crazy. They still jumping during the game, uh, off the court, you know, in the streets or when I take uh, coffee outside, they show me a lot. I, I never, I never see something like this. Yeah. I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, going back to the season, uh, I want you to think of one moment that you would describe as the best moment and one that you would describe as the worst moment. Personal or as a team? Personal. Uh, I will pick my first game in Italy here because my brother was here, my family. They just came for my first game. Uh, so I'm going to pick that one. And also we won. So it was an important game. 
And you say the worst one? Yeah, the worst one. I mean, we didn't get it to the top eight. Yeah, maybe that final game. I don't remember what which one it was, but that you lost all mathematical chances. Yeah, it was like three, four games or five games before. We had like 2% of chances. Yeah, you had to win all five and even then it wasn't. Uh, yeah, but also our last game here we won. So, I mean, yeah. we couldn't get it, but we won with our fans and that was cool too. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know. For now, I don't have any worst moment here. There was everything like great. I mean, we couldn't get it to the top eight, but that was wasn't an ex specific game, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I, I I can say one one worst moment. Yeah. Uh, next topic I want to go to is uh, because obviously we are all big Nikola Jokic fans. You obviously play with Nikola Jokic, and he's obviously, you know, doing incredible stuff right now in the NBA. You're probably following the yeah. Nuggets still yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I watched the second half just this morning. Yeah, it was pretty early. <laughs> yeah. But it, what do you think of uh, like Nick, what Jokic is doing right now? Because I think he's on another level even to his MVP seasons because he's carrying his team to the... Did you expect to the finals? Did you expect that when you, you know, play with him? And how would you best describe him, you know, as a teammate? Because we don't often get to talk to Nicolas' teammates from the Nuggets who played with him on the on a club level. So that's kind of my question for you. Uh, I mean, I expect that it's it's very hard what he's doing right now because maybe he or he did that like three years ago, two years ago, but continues like maintain that level is really hard it's really hard but also i know how much he work i mean after every game he's on the gym after every game he play 30 minutes 38 minutes and after that he take his jersey off his pants off and put the training clothes and go to the gym 9 p.m 10 p.m he doesn't care he live in the in the club so he's the first who came they come and the, the last one who finish leave leave the the, the 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 gym so it's no like lucky or something like that it's like last four years he was like leading in every stats you know and right now i i think he all the pieces are working really good you know you know like the the coaches the players around him so they are playing at a high level and as a teammate it's great it's like when he do the like, interviews, you know, he's funny. He always like he don't have any social media, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, he's just reading before the game books. <laughs> Every time he, I, I, I remember him in the locker room. He's reading a book and watching horse uh, race. So, like, so. Uh, does he love basketball or horses more? It's it's tie. It's tie. <laughs> yeah. I fifty fifty. Uh, so he's, he's really a, a fun guy. Uh, first time I came in, in Denver, uh, I remember in December in Saint Nicola, you know, uh, he invited me to his house and I spent time with him and his family, like a really, really big, big dinner. And I had really good time with him. Yeah. How much do you think that influence and obviously our friendship with uh, Luka Doncic maybe helps you decide to come to Zvezda, did it have any of an effect on it? I mean, or it was maybe something No, different? no, no, I, I, I talked with them after I decided, you mm -hmm. know, after they were so everything official. Uh, my, one of the reasons I'm here is because of Luca is here, fans, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I watched before I watched, I was watching video, I w used to watch video of the, the fans. Uh, but Luca was here, and that helped a lot. You know, after coming to the to the NBA, uh, coming here like a a, a a huge change for me. Like coming back to the Italy, uh, being an Argentinian friend in the team means a lot to me. So that was one of the top uh, factor I picked. Yeah. Going back to you and your career, uh, don't take this wrong, the wrong way, but. Uh, Obviously, you made it in basketball, but when you look only at the NBA, you didn't make it like saying you didn't, you know, be the guy like you are in Europe. In Europe, you're the guy. You're the, the, the one of the best players, top five, if you ask me. Uh, why do you think that is that you couldn't be what you are in Europe in, in, uh, in the NBA? 
it's impossible to me be the guy in the NBA. Yeah, but something close close to that level. Yeah, you're not gonna I be mean, Jokic or Durant, yeah, I mean, but yeah, they're, they're, something bigger. Yeah, like there are like two, three. Some of the team one the guy in every team. You know, in yeah, every yeah. team in the NBA. I knew if I want to play in the NBA, I have to like take my ego up out and try to do what the team need me to do. Like, okay, do you want me to run to the corner and try to be the more efficient guy in the three point in the three point shot from the corner? I will try to do it. Uh, I I knew I have to change something in my game. The the the, the movement without the ball. I I knew I I'm not gonna have the ball too much time. So it was a big challenge for me. Uh, I had to try to change a little bit my game. Uh, I know the uh, Jokic have the ball more often. Uh, there, in the NBA, there is no point guard, two, three, there is no position. It's just players, you know, that they, they were running. And so I, I knew that and I, I think that it was the more hardened thing to me to adjust. Uh, but I think I, when I feel good in the NBA, when, when I had like good level and playing a lot of minutes, I, 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 I really feel really good. And I, I think I play a, a good level over there in my first year, at least. Yeah. Uh, one topic I also want to cover is uh, the 2019 World Cup. Yeah, you, you don't have to think <laughs> too hard to remember what happened there. Uh, I don't know if you talked about that game, sp the specific game against Serbia, when you guys beat us and we all started crying. <laughs> uh, do you remember that game? And uh, you, of yeah. course, remember that game. But you know, what are your thoughts about uh, you know how you? beat Serbia, which was the favorite to win the game. We had Jokic, we had everyone, basically, almost everyone there. So is it still one of your, you know, happiest memories that that World Cup or? Yeah, I mean, that game and the whole World Cup. If, I mean, even the, the final, we didn't get it. But I think we, in general, we did a great, great tournament. And I mean, you're watching the final result against winning Serbia, but we worked really hard, really hard. Uh, we the, during the summer our training camp was was tough and i remember the first day in the training camp the scholar stopped us and say i think this team can play the semi-final of the world cup and everyone let's look at him how do you think that you are crazy i don't know and he put that goal in our mind now we start working in that goal you know day by day practice by practice so when we play against serbia for example or against france we were ready. I mean, we were ready not to win, to give our best, to put in the game what we did in the in the training camp, and can be a, a lose, uh, can be lost the game or win the game. But let's die with our way to play. And I think we did that. Like we pressed full core, the point guards, uh, we double team Yoke uh, every time he got the ball. Uh, we did everything with good basketball, hustle, fight, and passion. And I think we. We we didn't be really believe before the game we really I don't know can win the game this way like dominate the whole game but but during the game we we had the same feeling you know we we were all locking if you look deck uh, looks he was really yeah. killer focused. instinct yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean uh, it was it, it was nothing. We don't have to say nothing. We just look at our faces, and we we already knew we have, we are gonna be like really good. And I, for sure, hundred percent, it was one of the top of my career over the memories with my with the national team. Yeah, and the story about Skola. How much of that do you maybe see in your coach Dusko Ivanovic? Because I heard that. Uh, his team has to be the team that's going to win the Euroleague, whether it's possible or not. It's that mentality that he tries to get into the, his players from day one that we're going to win everything. Is it like that with Dusko? And how would you describe your relationship with him overall? Yeah, it's it's like uh, this. It's a great way to lead. You know that you you have to put everyone in the same page if you want to win something like win a championship, play the semi-final, the World Cup. Uh, you have to during the season. It's a long season, you, and you gotta be the whole team gotta be in the same page. So you have to put the, like an important idea, like an impossible maybe sometime idea or goal, and work for it. 
maybe the final result is not the medal or not the like us. This is just the semi-final or whatever. But I think during the process, you you really challenge your yourself. So uh, my relationship with with the Dusko is is pretty good. Uh, if you like to practice and training hard, it's the perfect fit for 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 you. Yeah, and. Uh, Obviously, with Dusko, you worked. We worked with Pablo Lasso. You worked with uh, Michael Malone and other coaches. Uh, what, how would you, let's say, put your best coach together? And what would you take from each of them to, you know, maybe create the perfect coach? Uh, from I don't know, from Pablo Lasso and Sergio Hernandez from the national team, the way they handle day by day, you know, they, the relationship, uh, coach player is always. Great, uh, the leadership of, of Dusko. Uh, I don't know who the coach I had, uh, but um, it's a, a little bit of everything, you know. Like they, they handle the group, the way they handle the group, the the leadership, the the ethic to work ethic. Uh, it's like a mix of of that. Okay, that's it.